Hovercraft, or air cushion vehicles, have been used by militaries since the 1960s, ranging in size from small insertion craft carrying maybe 10 troops to mega hovercraft that can carry payloads of 150 tonnes. Able to access around 70% of the world's coastlines, vice around 17% for traditional landing craft, they are also significantly faster. On the downside, they are relatively expensive to operate and maintain. In military service, they are known as landing craft air cushioned or LCACs. Small LCACs can be launched over the side of ships by crane, while medium sized ones are often launched through the floodable well docks on landing helicopter docks and landing ship docks. Still, some are too big to be carried by other vessels and operate independently. One such LCAC is the Soviet Project 1232.2, NATO reporting name Pomornik, and widely known as a Zubur. It entered service in the Soviet Navy in 1988. China has recently started full domestic production. In PLA service, it is called the Type 728. G'day and salutations. Today's briefing, China's mega hovercraft, the Type 728 LCAC. The PLA Navy began operating the Zubur in 2014 with the first craft designated 3325, China then becoming the fourth country to operate this highly capable craft. The second Zubur arrived in early 2014 and was designated 3326. Note the stern ramp which covers around half the width of the cargo area. The bow ramp is slightly uh, wider than the stern ramp with the cargo area occupying the full length of the craft allowing full roll-on roll-off capability. The cargo area of around 400 square metres can accommodate two infantry fighting vehicles abreast. China then produced a further two Zubuz from kits provided with hull numbers 3327 and 3328 which had ended service by 2018. By this time, the PLA Navy was the equal largest operator of the Zubur with Greece, with all craft allocated to the Southern Theatre Command. What makes the Type 728 significant is its range payload performance, able to deliver a 150 tonne payload at a sustained speed of 55 knots over a range of 260 nautical miles or around 480 kilometres. Possible loadout options include three ZTZ-96 main battle tanks or four ZTQ-15 light tanks or six ZTL-11 wheeled assault guns or six ZBD-04 tracked infantry fighting vehicles together with around 60 troops, six to seven ZBL-08 wheeled infantry fighting vehicles and around 70 troops or eight JM-8 all-terrain vehicle logistics support vehicles with, uh, together with 75 tonnes of stores, or 500 troops in an administrative move. In May 2023, the first purely domestically produced Type 728 was identified with hull number 3260. Unlike the previous two Zubuz, which were produced uh, by kits provided, it appears as though China has fully mastered the technical requirements and know-how to produce the 728 LCACs completely on its own. In July 2023, the second Type 728, hull number 3261, was seen. The primary differences between the initial Zubuz and the new Type 728s include the positions of the two six-barrel 30mm closed-in weapon systems are moved forward, the integrated photoelectric fire control system is replaced by a fire control radar. And the mast that houses navigation radar and communications equipment is redesigned. The two six barrel 30mm close in weapon systems have moved to where the retractable multiple launch rocket systems were previously located. These two latest LCACs appear to be stationed in the Eastern Theatre Command for operational use against Taiwan, the first time the Type 728s have been stationed in this theatre command. Potentially operating from Ningde, Fuzhou, Chuanzhou, Xiamen and Shantou, they would be able to conduct round trips at high speed without refuelling. 
In summary, the PLA Navy operates a variety of landing craft air cushions, including the Type 726, which is similar to the United States LCAC, and which are found operating from the Type 075 landing helicopter docks and Type 071 landing ship docks. But it is the Type 728 heavy LCAC that brings a significant capability to the PLA. The Type 728 provides the ability to deliver follow-on forces supporting an initial lodgement, as well as the delivery of logistical support and heavy equipment, thus able to quickly resupply a bridgehead, which might not be able to be done due to a lack of an airhead for transport aircraft to support such an attack. They can also conduct administrative movements of large numbers of troops in benign environments. China is now the largest operator of the Zuba LCAC and the only current producer. While it is possible the PLA might only receive these two additional Type 728s, having devoted the resources to domestically produce them, it is very likely the PLA will produce further units, at least four in total, and that we should expect to see these two additional units in the very near future. That concludes today's briefing. Uh, thank you for watching. Happy to take suggestions for future briefings from subscribers, so please subscribe, like and share. Until next time, Vale de Cerro.